Baptism is a very important step in the life of any believer. And you know, many maybe grow up in denominations where a baby is baptized, you know, and the parents have good intentions because it's how they've been raised, it's a tradition. And you know, they're doing it because they want to do what's right before God in many cases, right? But as many of us know, and as I believe Therese and Dinaj know, that you know, when we come to saving faith, when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that we are to take that step, because it's a step of obedience, it's a step of faith, it's a step before God, 
and nobody else, but it's good when there's witnesses and, you know, it's a public declaration of faith, right? And um, it's a command, you know, it's a command that we've been commanded to be baptized. And I'm just going to read a couple of scriptures. And this is Jesus, what he said, right? This is before he ascended. And he's speaking to his disciples here. Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. So it's a command of Jesus that he tells his people to go teach all nations and baptize. When Jesus ascended, and Peter started preaching, right? and he preached to the very ones that crucified Jesus. And when the conviction came, it says that they were pierced to their heart. Right? They realized, some of them, what they had done, that they had crucified their Messiah. And they asked Peter and the disciples what they should do. Right? I'm going to read this in Acts chapter 2 verse 37 to 41. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart, and they said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men, brethren, what should we do? And Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words he did testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. And they that gladly received the word were baptized, the same day were added unto the mother of the souls. So it's a command that when we understand our sin before God, when we understand we are all offended before God, they crucified him, but we are all offended before God, even if we told the little little white lie. We're commanded to repent and to be baptized for the forgiveness. We promise the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it's important when Philip, he went to encounter an Ethiopian eunuch who, he had heard something about Jesus, he was reading the scriptures of the prophet Isaiah, and he was asking Philip, you know, who Isaiah was speaking about, and Philip started speaking on the and he asked Philip, he says, what hinders me, what prevents me to be baptized, right? And Philip says this in Acts chapter 8, 37. Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. If you believe with all your heart, you may get baptized. So right there we see, it's a believer that is called to be baptized. When we believe all our hearts that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he's the Son of God, he answered and said, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down to the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized them. So that's a requirement for baptism. What hinders me? What hinders you from being baptized? If you believe, if you believe with all your heart, you may. Right? So that's when we should be baptized. If you believe with all your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, that He's your Lord, that He's your Savior, that He died for your sins and rose again, you may get baptized. So that's why we're here today. If you understand. Okay? You speak loud enough so Brother Emmanuel can hear you. Jesus in my Again, if you didn't hear it, he said Jesus is God. So he's the Son of God, but he's God manifested in the flesh. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Spirit are one. Amen. Amen. And you believe that he is Lord. And he's your Savior. And you are saying this day that I'm being put to death with Christ and being risen to newness of life. Alright. Alright, amen. Therese.
Who's Jesus in your life? For me, Jesus is my Lord and personal Savior. You know, He's King of Kings, Lord of Lords, besides and there will never be another. He is my Counselor, Mighty One, you know. I give Him all the glory, all the praise. I worship Him, He died for our sins, you know. He was stripped for His many sins. He made us whole, so He's my everything. The breath I breathe. My, he's my he's my stand, he's the rock I stand on, everything else is thinking sand, thinking round. So he's my all. Amen. The way the truth and the light. Amen. And um, it's a testimony that you're raising a fine young man. Mm -hmm. And you know the Bible says to raise up a child in the way that you go and when they're old they will not depart from it. Yeah. And uh, for you to take a step in your age is an amazing thing as well, because especially in our age and our culture, and there's so many forces that try to pull us in all different directions. But Jesus will be faithful to keep you and keep you and keep us all as we trust in Him. So I think we're ready. Get ready to get wet and we'll go and spend more water. Yeah. All right. Stand here. Okay. I just want to say one word. I just want to say one word, everybody. Hello, good afternoon. We're just gathered here today. I just want to say a quick word. We're doing something that is very important, and you might see what we're doing and wonder why. We're doing what's known as a baptism, and a baptism happens when somebody believes in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that He came to this world 2,000 years ago. He died for our sins. He was buried and the Bible says that he rose again and he's alive. And when you believe in him, you promise a gift of eternal life, salvation in the kingdom of God. And when somebody comes to that saving faith, they take the step to be baptized. And you'll see that now where we're buried with Christ under the water and we're raised to newness of life. So God bless you. And if you have any more questions, you can come see us afterward. God bless you. you stay here and then when your mom comes back, come on. It's very cold water. Praise the Lord!
Yeah, yeah.